I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and I'm here to teach you a little bit about the ProPresenter 7 interface. Now, I know you might be tempted to skip this video since it's just an interface overview, but I'd highly recommend you don't. The reason that ProPresenter takes so many people so long to get used to is because the interface is pretty confusing if you don't know where everything is. So I'm going to do my best job to highlight the most important items you'll need to know to get started with building out your church services. So probably the four most important things you'll need to learn to get started in ProPresenter are the media bin, presentations, libraries, and playlists. So the media bin is where you store all of your still images or videos such as motion backgrounds, and you can add new ones by creating playlists here. And inside of the playlist, it kind of serves like a folder. So you can click on this plus button down here, go from finder, and then select either entire folders or specific media items that you want to import into the media bin. Now, presentations you can think of as a collection of slides for each individual element of your service. So if I go to announcements here and click on this announcement slideshow presentation, while this has four different slides that it's fading between, all of these slides are a part of the same presentation. So in the same way, when you build out a song and you have 30 different slides with different lyrics on them, all of those slides are a part of the same presentation, which would be the name of that song. And then every song that you build would be a separate presentation. Now, libraries are like a folder inside of ProPresenter for organizing your presentations. So if you had different announcement slideshows you wanted to use at different times, you can create a library titled Announcements and have all those presentations in here. And likewise, for all of our song lyrics, I created a library titled Songs, and I have all of our individual song presentations inside of here. If you want to add a new library, you can do that with this plus button up here and go new library. And then if you want to move a presentation into a different library, you can either right click on it here and go move to and select the appropriate library, or you can simply click and drag it into one. And lastly, we have playlists, which you can think of as your entire church service. So when you build out a church service, you're going to add media items and several different presentations for your announcement slideshow at the top and then songs and sermon slides. And those would all be organized inside of a playlist like this one here. So if I click on this and click on our announcement slideshow, you'll see that I have this announcement slideshow, which is a presentation up here. I have this welcome slide, which is its own presentation. And then I have goodness of God, which is a song here. So the playlists allow you to organize all of your individual presentations and media items to build out the rest of your church service. Now talk about how ProPresenter actually displays things. So ProPresenter uses layers for displaying elements, and there are seven different types of layers. On the bottom, we have the video input. Then we have media items, which are like your still images or videos, such as motion backgrounds. And then you have slides, which are text elements, such as song lyrics. We have announcements, uh, props, which could be things like your church logo, messages, and then audio is your top layer. Now, during a church service, you might have any combination of these elements happening at the same time. So let's take the example of a live stream. You might have a shot of the band going on during worship, and that would be your video input. And then you might have a lower thirds motion background happening, which would be a media item. And then you'd have text for the lyrics on top of that motion background, which would be slides. And then you could have your church logo in the upper left-hand corner, and that would be a prop. Now, you can clear these layers individually with these buttons over here. So I have this motion background and welcome text separated. This is a media item and this text is a slide. So I can click on this clear slide button and it'll get rid of the text and this clear media item and it'll get rid of the media. Or if you have several things going on at once and you want to clear all of them, there's this bar on the left hand side that just says clear all and that'll delete everything off the screen. Something else to note are these buttons up here for controlling your audience and stage screen. Uh, if these are red, it means that they're off. And if you click on them and they're green, that means that it's turned on. Also, if you have several screens set up, such as some screens in your lobby, a center screen on stage, side screens, and live streams, uh, you can switch between which one you're previewing with this drop down right here. And below there, you'll see this audio tab right here, and you can create new playlists inside of here, and then add songs with this plus button here that you can run under your pre-service announcement slideshows or countdowns, and you can change the fade between songs with this slider over here. And that's going to be it for this basic ProPresenter interface overview. I know that the program is huge and there's a lot more that we could learn, but you're going to learn a lot more about the interface as we dive into specific ProPresenter tasks in future tutorials.